Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is set for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a brawler standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at the featherweight limit, 146 pounds. His professional record stands at 13 victories and five defeats. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, here is Martin, the big Swede Spitzer. And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist standing five feet, eight and a half inches tall. He weighed in 145 and three quarter pounds and in 15 fights has 12 victories with just three defeats. Fighting out of Coventry, England, here is Dave Hill. <laughs> Referee in charge, Peter Lavery. Referee Peter Lavery is the official for our co-main event of the evening. Martin Svensson in the black trunks, Dave Hill in the red with black trim, touch of gloves and we're underway. Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer, privileged to call the action for you here in Jordan. Svensson opens up with a combination in the knee and it's Hill searching for the takedown, Josh. Yeah, he's immediately overcommitted with those strikes and straight away Dave Hill in on the hips, locks him up and looks to put him on the ground. Heads on the outside though, so looking for the switch is Martin Svensson. Big takedown there from Dave Hill. Yeah, good work to just stay latched to the hips. You see immediately the big Swede looking to post that right hand, walk his back up the cage and get back to the feet. Spencer not one to ever be shy of sharing his opinions. He's been vociferous in the fact that he feels that he has the best jiu-jitsu for MMA in Cage Warriors right now. So perhaps not at all uncomfortable with being in this position. Really nice work from Dave Hill to lasso the legs here. That's going to stop or at least make it harder for Swenson to withdraw them and try and stand up. And notice how Hill hasn't really broken any space whatsoever. Even when Svensson gets back to this half standing position, Hill is straight in on the hips again. There's never any disconnect. He's not giving any space whatsoever for the Swede to establish the defense he wants. Back to his feet is Svensson. Listed at six feet one inches tall. I believe he may actually be a little taller than that, actually, Josh. And Dave Hill just 5'8. Incredible height for a featherweight. Hill looking to pummel back inside. It's Svensson with the pressure up against the cage here. These clinch positions are always going to be a little bit. Unless Svensson can put the underhooks to work, they're always going to be a little bit easier for Hill because he you know, hasn't got to do that much work to drop underneath the clinch of Svensson. Svensson is really adept at putting that long frame to use. Constantly looking at his corner for instruction is Svensson, taking advantage of the cage position to soak up that advice. And it's a battle for clinch control here. Dave Hill trying to get the head to use, being shorter, he can get up underneath the chin of Svensson and try and off-balance him, but they're just pummeling here. That's where they're, they're lassoing their arms in and out, trying to establish that dominant grip. That's the underhook, and Dave Hill bails out to guard here, looking for an armbar. Now he's got to be careful. Guard. Really is a very attritional position. That 50-50 clinch up against the cage. Doesn't look like they're exerting a lot of energy, but it's constant, unyielding pressure against your opponent. Oh, and Hill's got to be careful not to give his back here. Spenson just slung Hill's legs out of the way with impunity there. Taking a very strong position with Hill trapped up against the cage. See Dave Hill put that hand on the hip to block it, bring his legs back in front of him, re-establish that defensive guard position. I'm sure Svensson's going to eat some time up here. Controls the legs and moves them to the side. That's really nice, methodical guard passing from Svensson. Well, he did say he feels he has the best MMA jiu-jitsu in Cage Warriors. I know another Cage Warriors featherweight, Alex Enlund, had something to say about that on Twitter earlier this week. Joining the conversation yourselves on Twitter, use the hashtag CWFC71. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this fight. Any others from the evening, and of course, our huge main event coming up shortly on Cage Warriors 71. You see, this will make it harder for Martin Svensson to keep Dave Hill here, those longer limbs. It does make it easier for the smaller man to shrimp, get on his hip, and work his legs back in front, just as you saw Dave Hill do that. And 
Dave Hill motioning like he's going to look for a leg lock. He's trying to invert and spin underneath his opponent. But we've already seen that if Svensson grabs those ankles, he's got such long arms, he can really just march them forward. Svensson steps back, allowing Hill to get to his feet. And we're back where we started. Big head kick from Svensson, a big knee, huge takedown from Hill. The knees, the knees are a fantastic bit of offense against someone you know is going to close the distance and try and shoot on your hips. And Hill ate that knee, but he did earn the takedown in the process. We saw pretty much the exact same exchange earlier in the round, Josh. It's a risk-reward situation. Svensson rolled the dice. Now, where Svensson does not want to be here is with Dave Hill passing his guard. Those long legs will make it very hard for him to re-establish any form of defense once Dave Hill can get past them. But in this position, with that full close guard, Svensson is going to be incredibly dangerous for Dave Hill. Elbows coming down here from Svensson. Just a quick warning about the placement of those elbows. Svensson did tell me earlier in the week to watch out for an elbow knockout. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Josh. Here's and the first knee. See, he charges forward and Dave Hill just goes back to what he knows. Grabs a hold of the hips. This was a good period of pressure for Dave Hill. Didn't let up, kept dropping his man back to the canvas, but of course, he had to think so much about keeping him there. He wasn't able to get any offense off at all. Great work by Svensson there to get in close. I mean, someone of Svensson's limb length really does pose a very difficult problem for a lot of grapplers. You see him making use of it there with the head kick. Another beautiful take down there from Dave Hill. Tried to step over into Matt, didn't quite get it. Cage Warriors welterweight Tom Brees in the corner of Dave Hill. Expect Tom Brees to be back in the cage sooner rather than later. As we're about to get this second round underway here in Amman Jordan. Martin Svensson, Dave Hill, second round. No touch of gloves, straight back to the action. Svensson already launching those knees up. We see Svensson do this a lot with those knees. Immediately Hill dives in, blocks the hip, turns the corner very nicely to complete that takedown. He's looking to pass here. He does not want to be tied up in the full guard. Now, that's a very nice pass attempt from Hill. He's trying to trap... Well, I didn't quite see what happened in that scramble. But I believe Svensson was looking to set up an Oma Plata. And he's come out on top of the scramble, Josh. Yeah, didn't have the best angle there, but he's got a really strong top half guard here. Dave Hill was in the process of setting up a really nice pass, and Svensson just... Uh, Countered straight away. Nice Kimura threat from Svensson allows him to backstep that hip and get another good side control here. See how he opts to keep both knees up rather than really flatten out. It allows him to be just a little bit more mobile, but it does mean your opponent doesn't have to carry as much of your weight. Svensson looking to establish a dominant position here, but Hill just does not stop moving, perpetual motion from the Englishman. Another good guard pass from Svensson, really locked Hills upper body down to the canvas, allowed him to do everything he wanted with the legs. Trying to explode out from the bottom is Dave Hill here. Again, we see Hill trying to re-establish this guard. It's, you know, because he's, he's such, so much, ugh, sorry, so much smaller in relation to, to uh, his opponent. It's easier for him to sneak that near side knee back in front of the body of Svensson, but the Swede doing a good job of shutting it off there. Well, of course, there are advantages and disadvantages to the different body types, and both these guys adept at playing to theirs here tonight in Jordan. Yeah, Dave Hill won't want to be stuck here. He won't want to be grinded down over the course of, uh, you know, three, four, five minutes of the round. He'll want those scrambles. He'll want to be able to try and grab something on the way. Spencer's corner seeming happy with his work at this point in the fight, at least. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Dave Hill's been so active in trying to replace that guard that Svensson's having to spend all of his time merely just maintaining that side control position and constantly defending the attempted guard retention efforts of Dave Hill. It's really stopping him from landing any ground and pound or any submissions of his own, for that matter. Hill scooting forward. Referee Peter Lavery puts him back on his feet. Spencer taking the center of the cage now. 
Svensson does this funny thing with his lead leg that he leads it, he lifts it up almost like a block or a knee. Doesn't leave his chin up in the air when he does it though. Hill with no overhand right immediately changes levels for the takedown. Svensson defending as best he can against the cage. Threatening the guillotine, he's going to use that threat to just try and re-establish the standing position. Spencer looking to get back to his feet here, but Dave Hill applying the pressure, but the big Swede's up. And already back on the onslaught, dropping some knees into the stomach of Dave Hill. Not too much on them from this position though, Josh. No, whilst Dave Hill's upright and his hips are in close, the knees are going to have to come up the outside and then turn the hip over and really drive them in sideways, very much like a Thai boxing style knee as opposed to just driving up the middle. Well, Josh, going into this fight, we knew whatever happened, it would be a battle, and that's exactly what we're seeing here, a real war of attrition between Dave Hill and Martin Svensson here at Cage Warrior 71. It's a very grinding and gruelling battle, and Martin Svensson was able to counter Dave Hill in the takedown there, earned himself a mount, but, I mean, that's a mark of a good professional fighter there from Dave Hill. You see how quickly he didn't let Svensson establish that mount position, immediately made him work for something else. I mean, that's the thing, it's, it, you know, whilst it, it's not great to be underneath your opponent the whole time, you can really limit any damage you sustain by constantly moving, constantly trying to defend and constantly trying to get out. And then their, their attention and their focus has to shift to keeping you there and maintain, just maintaining their position. And that means they're not going to get a chance to posture, they're not going to get a chance to punch you. Spencer looking to create some space here, stands up. Looking for a different angle attack, final 10 seconds of the second round. Spencer riding out the frame with these kicks to the legs of Dave Hill. That's going to be a very frustrating round for Dave Hill. I mean, Svensson's actually shaking his head. I think he's probably frustrated as well. Both these guys may be expected to have a bit more oomph and a bit more scrambles. Well, let's take a look at what did happen in that second round. Here we see Dave Hill on top position. Oh, and it was up a the go-go platter no, there. Yeah, it was the armor the platter. platter as well. Didn't control the body. Dave Hill rolled to defend, but then immediately I mean, that's what we see in MMA. Oma platters are so hard to finish because it's very hard to control your opponent's body and really get that shoulder lock working. The Swede using it to sweep very effectively there. Both guys going for the overhand punches there. Hill using his to set up a single leg. He was able to get Svensson to the ground at the end of that exchange. I think the judge is probably going to see that one the way of Martin Svensson as well. I mean, it's, it's going to be close to call here. And talk about the psychology, Josh. We saw at the end of that break, Hill already on his feet, bouncing on his toes, staring at Spencer. Spencer still sat on the school, perhaps looking for a psychological advantage there is Dave Hill. We know both these guys can go three hard rounds. Yeah, I mean, if you can look across at your opponent and say, hey, I'm still here, I'm not tired, I'm ready to go a full five again, and really come out with some intention, you can change the entire complexion of the fight very quickly. Both men swinging there, it's Spencer with a takedown. Good body lock from Swenson. Spent some time with Martin Spenson earlier in the week and he said to me he wants a finish, he wants a spectacular win, he wants to prove to the Cage Warriors officials why he deserves that title shot above anyone else. Dave Hill looking to try and re-establish his guard position again. Spenson keeping Hill honest with these punches as he looks to get oh. past the guard. Nice bit of leg work from Svensson, might find his way to a mount here. There we go. Full mount for Martin Svensson. Sinks his hips in very low. Hill active off his back though, immediately trying to get out, establishes half guard. Again, very good work from the Englishman, didn't give the Swede a, a single moment to really establish that position. Oh, lovely backstepping pass, though. Great work from the big Swede here. Being slightly more aggressive in this round, perhaps, Josh? He's doing a good job of passing guard actively. It's all effective grappling, progressing your position. Obviously, I'd like to see him try and mix some ground and pound him, but you know, Dave Hill's doing such a good job of constantly moving. Martin Spencer's just not getting the chance. 
And the thing with an opponent like Dave Hill, you give him an inch on the ground, he will take a mile. He'll initiate the scramble. That's not what you want to be doing with Hill. Oh, Dave looking for a sweep here. And he had the head and arm. An awkward position, looking for a triangle very quickly, and immediately Svensson backs out. Hill trying to butt scoot forward here. I mean, maybe let's try and instigate the leg locks. They are very long legs of Martin Svensson. Long arms too, pretty much able to punch Hill on the floor from that standing position. Will Svensson be able to time a knee on Dave Hill? Oh, Hill going searching, hauling that single leg back in. Spencer connecting the arms underneath to prevent that takedown. I mean, Martin Spencer. Oh, lovely scramble here as Spencer rolls to look for the back and he comes out with a very nice side control. What a fantastic scramble that was. Great stuff from the 29 year old. I mean, Martin Svensson went 5-5s five with Jim Ayler's in that title bid back in Cardiff. So we know he can go the full fives. Struggled early in that fight, but came on strong towards the end. Three rounds shouldn't be an issue, but a very, very torrid pace being set by these two young men in the grappling here. Couple of short shots, they're not really going to do anything significant. Another side control if he can stop Dave Hill turtling. See, Hill is just so hard to hold on to. Oh, he's got to be careful not to give up mount here, though. And Spencer came on strong in his last fight against Robbie Olivier. He came on strong towards the end of his title fight, and he's oh, coming on strong here tonight as well. He's got a really horrible grip of Spencer's arm. That tie across the face, around the back of the head, really does make it very awkward for your opponent. Final minute of the fight. He's got the rear naked choke sunk in, Josh. Oh, Not see, quite under the throat, though. No, you see Dave Hill tucking his chin, trying to strip that top hand. Precarious position for Dave Hill. You see again, Spencer with the body triangle, switches it. to the other side. That's it, the long limbs here really coming into play. He's going to be squeezing. For 45 seconds, solidly here, you see Hill doing the right thing, though, turning onto the correct side and really nicely walking his, himself over the leg to escape that position. Great to see him stay so composed, even at the end of 15 minutes in what was a very bad spot for him. Final 30 seconds of the fight, and Svensson still attacking here, landing a nice elbow, trying to create some space. Spencer is not cruising here, he's looking for a finish, Josh. Final 10 seconds of the round. It passes again to side control. It's, I'm losing count of the number of dominant positions he's had now, and that's fantastic to see, but just not able to go searching for that finish. Well, we knew it was going to be a war, we knew it was going to be a battle. These two young featherweights setting an absolutely brutal pace earlier on and maintaining it. Both men looking like they've been in the full 15-minute fight here. And we're going to take a look at some of the action now. Here's Hill trying to reel that single leg back in, and this was a lovely scramble. Svensson looks for the back, Hill looks for the back, and it was Svensson who just managed to establish the more dominant position. And here's that horrible grip he talked about. Josh right over the face of Hill with his own arm. And here was the rear naked choke attempt we saw late in the round, not quite under the throat. I mean, this escape from Dave Hill, that I don't know if we'll see it or not, was, was really nice to see, to get out of this position. I think no question that's probably going to be a win for Martin Svensson, though. It would seem that way, but take nothing away from Dave Hill. A fa fine performance from both these young men. We're going to throw it to Joe Martinez in the cage to make it official. And all five fans, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three have it, 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision from Malmo, Sweden, Martin, the Big Swede, Spencer! A big win for the Big Swede. He said he wanted to come out here tonight and put on a performance. He certainly did that against one of the toughest men in the division in Dave Hill.
Yeah, I mean, it was an impressive performance in, in those areas. And, you know, Dave Hill constantly scrambling, constantly moving, really dictated 